Hello, and thank you for coming to this video. In this video, we should show you basically how to backup Windows Server, a full backup, also just a system state, which gives you Active Directory restore ability, and also how to restore them. So it's a backup and restore of full version, and also just for Active Directory, because that requires a slightly different way to restore. And we should show you the full steps. You get to Server Manager, open that up. That's straightforward. Go to Features, which is after Roles. Okay, so you just go Next. And then Features. Make sure you select Windows Server Backup, which is over here. And it's a straightforward thing. All it does is just install, and it'll finish in a few seconds. Okay, that finished. So now all we need to do is just open it up. And when this opens up, it's like that. Then you just click on Local Backup. As you can see, we haven't set up any backup schedules. Now the concept behind this is you can do a full backup every time, and you can set it every half an hour, etc., based on a time schedule, either maybe just once a day if you're not that busy, or if you're doing a lot of changes on your computer and you need backups for security for your own peace of mind, okay, you can change that. Now, when you do a backup, no matter which version you choose, okay, the steps are straightforward. Full server or custom, okay, um, I would suggest full. And the reason why is, okay. For us, this is just a demo machine, so it's only using up 16.24 gigs, okay? You might have a one terabyte. When you do full server, with incremental backup settings, what happens is the first time, yes, let's assume it's a one terabyte hard disk that you're backing up, okay, or hard disks, and that will back up. And then once that is done, you then basically only do changes. Whatever changes are being made, only those are being backed up. So it's a lot of time and space is being saved. So I would go with the full, and using the full, you can restore your DNS, your Active Directory, other system settings, etc. as well. Okay, if you are using a virtual machine, okay, like for example VMware, you will find that the custom setting, which most people choose, to do a system state, okay, which restores Active Directory, that, just on our machine, comes out roughly at 10 gig. Okay, so there's not much of a difference, okay, between just a system state and a full server backup on a empty system, literally. Okay, so that's those points. I would go with full server, and then you click Next. And then you can choose times. For example, they've given you a 9 p.m. at night, okay, when assuming nobody's around. It's nice and quiet. If you're making lots of changes during the day, you could have lots and lots of different settings. You could add like a 10 a.m., then maybe like a 12 lunchtime, and then 2, or even more. It's entirely up to you what settings you want to do. The next thing you need to consider is if you are doing it to a hard disk, this dedicated drive, okay, is basically set up only for backups because it will actually format that drive and take control of it. So that's the first thing you need to think of. You can obviously back up to a folder within a drive, etc. But that, as I say over here, can be a little bit slower or 200% slower. Okay, so we're backing up to a drive and we'll just go forward and show you how that works. And as you can see, once you click next, you basically get show all available disks. We're using, for this demo purposes, a virtual system, so you're getting a virtual drive. Okay, and then there we go. It will tell you, do you want to remove this volume from the backups? And the point of this is basically you don't want to be backing up your backup drive. That's like duplication of the duplication, which, no. So, yes, you click OK. And this is 
basically telling you it will be reformatted so make sure this drive doesn't have any data on it that you need okay if you do make sure everything's transferred out and then click yes okay and a full backup gives you your system state recovery the full whack okay so it'll format the disk create the schedule and that's all done and now we could just leave this and basically the next time it comes up okay for example 2 p.m. or whatever the next time it'll automatically do a full backup and then afterwards it will go into incremental and how do we do incremental basically click on this okay if you want to kind of like go half and half you can do like for example your C drive is a full backup EFI only incremental other drives incremental etc okay we'll just click faster backup performance that's nicer and happy that gives us an incremental version and we'll just create a backup once for now just to show you how it goes okay and what should be happening so use the schedule backup options you cannot use different options because you set up a schedule if you haven't then you can use different options I'll just show you what those different options would look like okay you go to custom and then click next and then choose what you want and do you just want system state if you do bare metal you pretty much get the full thing then you can start removing things etc okay let's just go back let's go previous and next and then backup now it'll take some time what does happen and we'll just say whilst this thing is going through it if you are on a virtual system like VMware you will have to uninstall the writer okay and that's the last thing in well actually we'll show you might as well because this will be quite useful for many people okay let's go to control panel and uninstall a program if you are in the VMware tools if you have this installed you will have problems recovering just system state unless you actually uh, you want to change it you will have problems if you do not do the setting because you will never be allowed to do it just a partial recovery it will actually stop you coming up with an error at the end so to modify it okay we're just showing you what we got rid of we got a rid of virtual printing but that's because we weren't using it but this one over here this VMCI you need to make sure that his entire feature will be unavailable otherwise you will not be able to do active directory system state restore on its own you'll have to do a full recovery every time you do need to do a recovery okay so just make sure uh, let's just cancel that yeah goody and finish we will just quickly go back here as you can see it does take time because we're using virtual machines and it's for demo purposes only so we shall return to you once this is completely finished 100% okay and when that finishes you just click close and you'll have that now we'll show you if we were to do another backup once the difference that was about 14 gig okay just same steps again just create backup hey and this time around all it was was 140 megabytes okay which is a big difference compared to 14 gig okay so all it does is it will take a little bit of time to check what's being changed on the computer and then it does a full kind of like incremental backup of what the changes were okay let's now talk through your recovery options let's assume you've got lots and lots of backups one day things go wrong maybe active directory gets messed up or your DNS or maybe the entire system okay so from within Windows okay if you tried recovering okay you can choose the days let's assume you had previous days you choose that day and then what time etc we have only done it for this demo these two backups okay 
and choose whatever time that you believe is the correct time to go back to and from within Windows Server okay all the options you have are you can back up shall we say files and folders certain files and folders okay certain volumes applications system state you cannot system state is where you're actually trying to get back active directory for example okay I'll just give you an example of what goes wrong let's assume that click next it tells you no 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 you need to use the restore mode option so if you did at some point need to recover more than that like for example active directory or your entire server we shall have to boot up and I would suggest booting up using the Windows Server DVD USB version of it whatever you have okay or a network boot up and go into repair so we shall talk you through a full restore using the boot up mode so we'll just close all these things down and restart into the Windows DVD so we boot up over here like normal is the normal install screen go ahead instead of clicking install we click repair computer and then it is troubleshoot system image recovery and then it's Windows Server and it will find all our backups okay you can select a certain date for example if you have multiple multiple dates we'll show you what it looks like we only have this one date but the good news is you go forward and it will give you the specific times within that date as well if you had previous dates it would give you the full thing so you look at for example the latest one was that let's just click next and then you can format repartition the disk and it will do that and do a complete wipe and then restore for your computer that's up to you if you think there's some virus something affecting your computer then click finish once you click finish it basically goes on it takes whatever time to restore it and once it's done it restarts the computer and then boots back into what should be a normal version of your Windows and that's fine so we're back into Windows Server and let's assume we just want to do a system state restore which includes Active Directory and we're gonna do it using this method okay so we're back into Windows Server and for us to do an Active Directory restore get into that restore mode what we need to do is come over here type msconfig okay you get up your system configuration you can find this in computer management in Windows administration over there okay boot safe boot and active directory repair if your server is a secondary um, shall we say active directory domain you will not get this option if you're not being able to click into safe boot you know what the issue is okay so that's that and then click OK and then restart okay the key thing is here when you're doing an active deck directory restore you're not logging in under the domain for example as you can see you'll get this error what you need to do is the computer's name okay in this case we just call this guy backup and then backslash and then a user that has the permissions to basically do an active directory restore like a domain controller administrator etc and the password that you use is the password that you used to basically set up Active Directory. You might remember when it went through, it asked you for a restore password. You might think you're using the administrator, so it should be a different password if you have different passwords for both, but it actually works. Okay, so you need to use that password. You're not using your administrator password. Okay, and as you can see, 
literally it'll start up, it'll have safe mode written all over it, and it will start up server manager. If it doesn't, obviously you just click on server manager. You will get a lot of red errors, okay? That's because it's booting up into the special safe mode and a lot of services do not get activated or switched on, started. So what you do over here, still Windows Server Backup. So you can happily do it. You can use PowerShell if you want to. That's perfectly fine. We're doing it the GUI way. Graphical user interface. Go. And then recover. Then next. Choose whichever backup you want. With Active Directory, there is some key points that you need to remember. Okay, the furthest back that an Active Directory restore with all this caching, etc., is about seven days, I think it is. Um, another issue to think about is if you are doing multiple, multiple changes during each day, and even though we've done it every couple of hours, you do it even every 30 minutes, for example, if anything has changed from that last backup point, you will lose it. So hopefully, okay, you will have other kind of like systems also in place to mitigate the loss. If you're doing it every 30 minutes, hopefully you have some system in place to kind of like mitigate what happened within the last 30 minutes. Okay, so now you can do a system state go forward. If this is the primary domain controller, okay, you would want to make it as an authoritative restore. If you have other Active Directory servers within the, shall we say, forest, and they have maybe a more up-to-date version of Active Directory, so this will bring you to, shall we say, the last 30 minutes back, and other Active Directory servers can then feed into this and basically you will then get a complete up-to-date version. So if you don't click authoritative restore, you're allowing other servers to kind of like help this build it back up. If you don't have other servers, then you are clicking authoritative restore. Okay, so that's that. There you go. That's their message. Recover, system state, recover, just remember this, okay, um, do you want to continue, in this case we'll click yes, so basically what it does, it should go all the way, if you are having issues where it stops at this point, literally the last two not initializing, okay, and you get an error message coming up, it's basically because of your virtual machine settings. It just recovers Active Directory. It'll then restart the computer. If you have ticked the box, if you haven't, it'll just give you a little prompt over here saying restart. What you do need to do before the restart, and this is important, you do need to go to Windows Administrative Tools. And once you're there, click on System Configuration. And you need to untick safe boot otherwise you just keep booting up into safe mode as this is still going on what you would need to ensure when you click ok exit without restart otherwise it'll restart in the middle of this process and literally your system will be in a pretty unstable state so as mentioned all that happens is it's quite boring okay it goes through all of this it recovers all the stuff and then restarts and hopefully you're back to normal. So hopefully this video has helped. Thank you for watching.